Okay guys and gals, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the bullet that we'll be working with for this series, for the Dillon XL650 223-556 load series. The first thing that the new reloader needs to understand is that not all bullets are going to perform the same through all firearms, okay? In simpler terms, it doesn't matter if you're running a Barnes, a Spear, a Hornady, a Sierra, a Brand X, all things being equal in all of their bullets, none of those bullets are going to perform the same even through the same firearm. Okay, so now, as you're following along, once you complete your first loads, now the information you need is, once you're on your own, now what bullet do I need to purchase? Because if you watched the video previous to this in this playlist, we understand that the bullet diameter 0.224 is our 22 caliber bullet. So you're standing in front of a shelf of 22 caliber bullets. But the question is, is what bullet do you need? Because the fact of the matter is, is you might not be doing what I'm doing. Guys, I am getting set up for hunting. You might want to do formal target shooting. So it's the bullet basic information that you need. Now, first of all, I'm not a professional and I don't want to be a professional. But if you have questions that are unanswered, all you have to do is call the 1-800 number behind me. That is the technical support line for Sierra. Sierra the Bulletsmith. And it doesn't matter if you're running the Barnes, the Spear, Hornady, the Brand X, they have every single low data manual possible to mankind and they can answer your questions and they'd be happy to. Okay, so if you got any questions, give them a call. So first of all, let's identify the bullet that I'm going to run with. I'll just give you a few uh, uh, overview reasons of why I'm running with it and then I will transfer over into the bullet basics so you have the information to begin considering the bullet that you want to run with, okay? So, first of all, the bullet that I'm running with by Sierra is bullet number 1340, okay? That's the bullet number for Sierra and I will provide a link in the description box below for this particular bullet. The type of shooting that I'm loading for, you see, uh, you need to determine what you're going to do. For me, first of all, the AR-15 that I'm shooting, open sights. Now, uh, I want to be able to drop a coyote 200 yards, no problem. But where I hunt, being in the desert, a lot of sand, but I get into a lot of lava rock, a lot of rock. So, one thing that I have to be aware of is a problem with the ricochet. So, one design you can find in a bullet is a frangible bullet. That would be uh, a fragile bullet. A bullet that is capable of deforming in the body of an animal but if it passes through, if it hits something, even like a wall, that bullet will come apart. So one of the things that Sierra does with their bullets, and I'll read this, uh, it's, it's their blitz bullets. The blitz means it has a very thin jacket and it's designed to come apart rather easily, but still give premium performance. So. With the Blitz, the bullet line that Sierra 
offers is the barmeter. Let me read this to you. This is out of the Sierra Load Data Manual, page 40. This is the bottom section for the barmeter bullets. This classification includes 21 bullets ranging from 22 to 30 caliber, all designed specifically for rapid expansion and instant kills on larger varmints and small game. The shapes of bullets in this classification include hollow points, the spitzer, the semi-pointed. Bullets in this classification have thin jackets to enhance expansion, but with sufficient strength to be fired at the highest muzzle velocities in the cartridges for which they are intended. So one thing, if I was a person that lived out in the country and I had varmints that came up close to my house, this would be ideal. No ricochet. You're going to literally drop your animal and it's done. It's very nice. So, now, this is of a Spitzer design. Let me read a little bit on the Spitzer. The Spitzer is a German word. Spitzer is a term taken from a German word that means sharp pointed. The Spitzer shape is readily identified by a characteristic long ogive point shape closing with either a small diameter exposed lead tip or a resin tip in Sears Blitz Keen bullets. Okay. So, uh, this is the bullet that I'm running with. There we go. That is your exposed lead tip. That's the beginning portion of the bullet that begins deforming. As it deforms, it begins pushing our jacket back. We have a, a flat base. That flat base will... Uh, the flat base actually on a a boat tail let's see if I got one here I've always got you guys know I've always got something handy here here's uh, some information for you even though these are f uh, a fragile bullet um, I'll explain something to you this is a a boat tail let that focus in what a boat tail does is it it helps reduce the drift in wind drift. It helps to overcome that. Uh, according to Sierra, when you get over 1,600 feet per second, the higher the velocity, the more resistance against wind drift. Well, the boat tail, in addition to that, helps you with wind drift, all right? So one would ask, well, okay, why? Why uh, a flat base then? Well, here's why. A boat tail, uh, it tends to, when we have expansion, the soft jacket tends to slip off the base of that bullet. It slips the jacket, okay? Comes apart much quicker than we want, right? So what we have is a flat base. So we have a, a frangible type bullet design, but it's got a flat base, so it will help that jacket stay on a little better. So, so therefore, at, at 200 yards, I've got a bit of a, a killing machine. And uh, five grains lighter than our 55 grain uh, common bullet. Uh, we used the 55 grain in the Dillon uh, RL550B series will uh, make no doubt about it. This 50 grain, I'll drop a coyote like a sack of sugar. So it's going to be fun. This will be my first time working with this, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. So so now, uh, this is uh, the bullet that I'll be running with, with this series. Um, right now, I've only got two boxes, but hopefully in the next week or so, I will uh, pick a couple more boxes up because our Dillon 650 is a, a hungry machine. So now that we know what bullet we're, we're working with, now let's talk about bullet basics because if you, for whatever reason, you can't get this bullet, okay? Uh, you're looking at brand X and they have quite the variety. Well, now what do you need and what are you doing? Because you might not be after what I'm after, right?
So first of all, um, the first thing you've got to ask yourself is what do you intend to do? And with that in mind, this is what you need to do. On page 41, two-thirds down, Sarah begins talking about the hollow point. You need to understand the hollow point. And then the spitzer. You need to understand the spitzer bullet. What's its design? What's its purpose? Okay. Page 42. The boat tail, the semi point, the full metal jacket, the round nose, the flat nose. Now, understanding what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting to do with your bullet, you are reading through the bullet basics and it tells you what the design of the bullet is intended for. So now what you do, once you're done at the bottom of page 42, then you can come over to page 40. And what Sierra has is they have all the different bullet types that they manufacture, starting with the Match Kings, going through the Game Kings. So they have the Match King, the Hornets, they have the Blitz King, the Barmeter, the Pro Hunter, and the Game King. So now, as you're going through those, you're saying, hey, I know what that design is, and that's what they've intended it for. And so now, you're on the right trail. One more thing. Once you're done with that, page 43, selecting the appropriate bullet. So there you have it. Page 41, 42 is your bullet basics. Page 40 to 41 is what Sierra offers. And then page 43, your bullet, your uh, selecting the appropriate bullet okay I'll just tell you it like this this is how I've always looked at bullets okay if I don't have accuracy I have nothing but if I don't have performance I don't have much more than nothing so accuracy and performance are king now, what the new reloader needs to understand about putting your load together, the reason you want to start putting your load together with your bullet, not, not that you might not already have the cases and the primers, that's okay. Those you can begin working with down the road, but the one component you're going to put the most consideration into is your bullet. One. What job are you doing? That's the first thing you've got to ask. But now, it is your bullet. It's your bullet that has more to do with your entire load than all the other components combined. And once you begin finding that sweet spot bullet, then it's about a bullet powder combination and working with those to develop the best shot groups for what? The best accuracy, consistency in your accuracy, and understanding how your bullet's going to perform. Once you bring the load together and you've educated yourself on how every bullet is going to operate, then you bring everything together and now what can you do? Now you have the information so if you're going to run this Sierra and follow along when you get done, I couldn't encourage you enough to go out and grab Brand X and get their manual and load it. And study this bullet and record, record what you find. Keep track of your records. And when you run Brand X, you record that. And you're going to say, one or the other performed better than the other. And that's the beginning journey of developing your loads for your rifle. And, and don't let a friend tell you that there's only one bullet you should run because that's not right. What did we learn? Not all bullets perform the same through all firearms. And that's, that's why we reload. We reload because 
if one bullet did the job, we wouldn't need to reload. Some of it would be loading it for us, but what the reloader does, I don't reload because I want to save money. I don't reload because I want to put more ammo down range for the money. I want to reload because it gives me the option for better accuracy. I know how they perform, but now which bullet is going to give me the best accuracy based off what it's designed to do, okay? So now that we understand there's a particular bullet that we're looking for, once we find that bullet now, it's about a bullet powder combo. So now what do you say on the next video, we take the next baby step and we identify our powder, okay? What powder are we going to run with? So guys and gals, that's the end of this video. God bless. See you on the next.